is an 1855 hand pumper. Pieces of Aberdeen's history. It rang in the new year of 1891. More than 100 years old that survived their biggest test just last summer. It's sweet and at the same time it's sad. At Aberdeen's Museum of History, visitors could celebrate the logging town's past and its most famous homegrown celebrity, Nirvana frontman Kurt Cobain. But in June of 2018, the museum caught fire. It's still not clear how. About 75% of the museum's contents were destroyed. It hurt, and it still hurts. We were just totally helpless. All we could do was just sit there, hold on to each other for support. Dave Morris was the museum's director. She's a little charred, uh, but uh, this is where the conservation begins. Now he works with the city as a consultant. We have a couple of pianos here. One was the first piano in Aberdeen from the late 1800s. He's cataloging the surviving items that had been preserved in Kent until this week. They've returned to Aberdeen in a warehouse, a place everyone hopes is just a temporary home. We have a commitment from the city. Uh, there's a commitment from the community to have a real Aberdeen Museum again. The new museum director says the city is looking at a new home at Aberdeen's old Boeing building, used during World War II to build parts for B-17 bombers. While artifacts were lost and damaged, backers say there's too much history here to stop celebrating it. The rivers, the native people, the timber, the fishing, and, and then going through the industrialization of the town. And we really were, we're ending up with stories like Nirvana and Kurt Cobain. There's a lot of love coming from everybody all over. Morris says the devastating nature of the fire actually invigorated the community to rebuild and reopen. The museum will rise from the ashes, you know. That's a promise I made after the fire and I hope to see it through. Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.